In our last episode, we took a look at some of the different types of e-transportation, like bikes, one wheels, and scooters. So join us in this episode as we take a little closer look at the scooters. But as far as the scooter aspect versus the bike versus the portability, no, yeah, super like you just jump on. Super it and portable, go. and you just hop on it and go. I mean, they are definitely. Yeah, I think boat-wise, this versus a bike is way better. This is, yeah, this is the way to go. I mean, I love the bikes, especially in Key West. They were so much fun. Well, but we didn't try these in Key West. I have a feeling these would be even better. In so up first, we compared the Show Me Me 365 to its Amazon cousin, the knockoff. And that's about where they stopped, other than looking the same. Their control systems are totally different. Their battery usage, their battery life, the programmability. But enough of that. Let's get to testing. So we're testing on a set course of right at four miles. And what we're looking for is battery usage, speed, acceleration, and comfort. So right out of the gate, the acceleration's a little slow. Um, and I noticed with the hard rubber tires, the ride, especially when you hit the bumps or go over the gravel, is uh, it's pretty rough. I mean, you feel everything. The other thing with the 365 knockoff is it's loud. I mean, really loud. And it's the motor noise, not you know the street noise because of the rubber tires, but also, as you can see right here, it's rough. So when I got back to the house, I was really surprised by the lack of range. It's supposed to be 15 miles. I got four. The app crashed. Uh, never came back on with a percentage after the, that, after we rode it. So all in all, we were pretty much off to a fairly weak start. This was not going to do what we needed it to do. So next up, we have the Show Me Me, the M365. This is the same scooter that Bird uses in their rental fleets. So I had a little higher hopes for it. So, so on the Show Me M365, we started off at 100%. And right out of the driveway, I could tell a definite difference just in the way the pneumatic tires versus the hard rubber tires. Man, the difference is night and day. It has much faster acceleration, and if you hack the thing, it'll do 19 miles an hour, which is pretty quick on a scooter. The acceleration was also noticeably faster, but as it all wrapped up, um, as you can see, we ended up with 77% battery, right at 38 volts. I couldn't have been happier. And last but not least, the Segway ES4. It has an external battery and it's a little bit heavier, but I think this is going to be a scooter for me. Weird way to open. But the compactability of the Segway, that's pretty impressive. It's pretty sturdy, it's got a good build to it. The tubing is much thicker and much larger diameter than the other models. And with a click, it snaps up and in place. I think one of the things I don't like is that it folds down off its wheels. It retracts its wheels. Might mean that you have to Coming push in. really hard to get it to go over the little hump. That's what she said. Assembly's pretty straightforward. You plug the handlebars in um, and then just stick them on top. Of course, I guess it would help if you stuck them on top the proper way, not facing backwards. But other than that, the four screws that hold the handlebars on, that's about it. And we're done with assembly. So as you can see, we're starting out at 100% charge, no miles for this trip. All in all, it's not a bad unit. Um, it's a little rougher than the 365, but it does have a suspension that kind of absorbs some of that. With a top speed of 19 miles an hour, that's pretty quick. Um, and its acceleration is very smooth. So you can see, after our 4.1 miles, uh, 14 minutes, 22 seconds, both batteries are at 68%, and almost 19 miles remaining. So at the bottom of our field is the Swagtron Swagger 5. 
rough ride, no range, and very slow to accelerate. And then we had the best gadget knockoff of the Show Me Me. Again, no range, very rough ride. Its acceleration was a little bit better, but all in all, not the bike for me. The Show Me Me M365 with its pneumatic tires had the best in ride and noise. With the ability to alter its programming, you could also get it up to the same speed as the ES4. Now for the flagship, the Segway ES4. With its extended battery, gives it extended range, suspension, and digital readout, this was my favorite. It was also a little bit more expensive than the rest of them, but I feel it was well worth it. As for the M365 versus the ES4, we kept them both. Being able to alter the top speed on the M365 took it up to the Segway's 19 miles an hour. Both units we took on the 10 mile round the lake trip. The main thing I like about the Segway over the Show Me is the digital readout on the dash for speed. So we started this whole venture out with trying to find a mode of transportation that was one, portable, two, fast enough to get us to and from where we needed to go. Um, in case we need to go grocery shopping or do laundry or whatever. And we went through a gambit of things. I mean, we tried the e-bikes. The e-bikes were great. Um, just, we really had a lot of fun with them. They're just not efficient because of their weight and their... You, you can only get one at a time in the dinghy. Yeah. You didn't want to mess with them because they were just too much of a hassle to unload, carry off the boat, unfold. Like, by the time we got done with it, you could have walked or whatever. So... We, and I couldn't do it by myself. Um, they were just too heavy. I, I mean, we left tracks all over the boat and scuffed up things. So we they, saw these folks in Lauderdale that had the one wheel, and they were riding everywhere. They looked like they were having a good time. The one wheel was really portable. Um, it's a great way to get to and from somewhere. You could stick it under your table when you get there. The problem was is the learning curve to ride them. I never got it. <laughs> is really high. Um, and to carry, I don't know, I carried the laundry around on it once or twice. I guess I, I could have used it, but it's, it's really rough on the streets over in the Bahamas, we noticed. And it takes a lot of muscle usage when you, you can't ride it for yeah, a long yeah. period of time or your ass and calves would be killing you by the well, end of it. Yeah. So um, we saw the scooters, of course, in Fort Lauderdale because um, Bird and Lime and all them are renting them. So we rented them and we tried them out and we really liked them. Um, liked them enough that I started buying them and as you can see the first two the knockoffs uh, price point wise yeah they're really cheap but you get what you pay for um, you know we were lucky to get four miles out of the first two that was it this one and the N365 the show me which Holly rides made it all the way around the lake that's 10 miles 9.8 miles 9.6 something like that um, yeah which I can't foresee needing to you know ride go that far. Ride that far. I mean, most places that we go have a they're a, within two to three miles. Yeah, yeah a so miles. and we want to travel the island, see it, or whatever. Do they? I forgot to ask if if the battery does die, can you ride it yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, a yeah, real you scooter? Can, you can still push them like a you scooter. can use your manual. Uh, We're leg. gonna put a bag on the front for Holly, and then I'll wear a backpack, and she can wear a smaller backpack if we go grocery shopping, um, like out island in the Bahamas or something like that. Like well, when we get to Green Turtle, if we stay on the north side of Green Turtle where we like to stay, well, the grocery store and everything's on the south side of Green and Turtle. And Miss Emily's Blue Me Bar, you know, we have to try to go to that. Yeah, like so go that to Green Turtle, so. And we that. couldn't go to that last time because the cabs weren't running for whatever reason. Um, it was Thanksgiving. For whatever reason, <laughs> like I said. But oh, anyway. right, that's American holiday. <laughs> Shut up, cut. <laughs> but they do celebrate it. But these are really easy to move around. Um, this one's a little heavier than hers is. Um, the M365, the Show Me, is quick. We did the uh, hack to it, and it runs really quickly. It took her, um, I don't know, two or three rides to get comfortable, and she's still getting comfortable with it. But... I don't like to ride as fast, but I don't know that that's ever going to change. It's kind of... <laughs> my ammo. I'm a little bit more cautious than this one is. Yeah, um, we've got a bunch of uh, time riding in and out of Fort Lauderdale, which I just love zipping in and out of the traffic and stuff. I'll probably get run over one day for doing it, but 
The Keys, it was great. The Keys, they were a lot of fun. We haven't had a lot of, we did take it to a pizza place where we sat outdoors and could park them right there. We have a, a lock for them that we are going to travel with so we can right. lock them up to a street sign or whatever so we can go inside. There's tons of scooters out there on the market these days. Um, these were just the ones that we got our hands on. Um, I went with the uh, nine bot just because it's a little beefier unit and I like the extra batteries uh, for, for my weight range of about 188 pounds. It did great, even up going up um, a 10 to 15% incline, it still held its 19 miles an hour, which was fairly impressive. Um, we do come from Florida where you don't get inclines very often. But, drawbridges. Yeah, drawbridges, yeah, they zip right up the drawbridges in uh, Fort Lauderdale. But, yep, this is our uh, top pick until he finds the newest and greatest thing that he, <laughs> he wants to try out next. So stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch us next time as we head for the Bahamas. Uh, Celebrate my birthday. Yeah. And uh, have Thanksgiving with a great group of charter guests. Yeah, well, I guess it's time to get our butts back to the water now. <laughs>